Oh, baby, I made it out of California alive. And what better way to celebrate than to bring you one of my most controversial videos yet? I'll tell you what, uh, if you haven't heard about this story, it's a very tragic story. It's a story about how this military wife, she was three months pregnant. She was stabbed to death by her husband at the time. And you know what? I served in the military and I saw so much crazy stuff that I said, why not react to this? Why not speak on this? Because there are a lot of different factors that came into play to kind of make this tragic situation happen. This story is so crazy that I had to put on the Cry JPC 2.0. And if you know, you know. If you don't know, good, because you probably want me out of here after this video. This video is going to have to be broken down into two different parts. The reaction to this entire scenario. I'm going to have to talk to the ladies first. I'm going to talk to the ladies, talk to you women, and then I'm going to have a video for the men. But uh, sadly, this woman named, named Dana Alotabi, I think that's how you say her name. I can't. I don't know. She has a crazy last name like a lot of people on this planet. She has this video titled Spicy Military Wife Problems. Marine Corps Base Hawaii and we're going to react to this video as well as react to a lot of other videos encompassing this entire scenario because at the end of the day you guys know that I have always been the channel to bring you the truth I bring you the truth sometimes it doesn't sound pretty sometimes it pisses people off but I'm going to bring you the truth because I'm really sick and tired of us perpetuating a lifestyle and glorifying certain lifestyles that are leaving too many of our young women six feet in the dirt that are leaving too many young women abused and harassed and stuff like that. We like when we when we continue to detach ourselves from reality and we set these women up for failure, we come across more and more tragic things and more tragic headlines and more tragic instances of things happening like what happened to poor Dana here. Dana probably won't uh, be mad at me for mispronouncing her last name, but she may not agree with every single point that I make in this video. But it's okay because the truth does not always taste good going down. Neither does medicine. It's time to get unsick. It's time to cure yourself. Let's go. First and foremost, I want to make sure that you know that this is not a video to just simply talk bad on Dana or her lifestyle choices or anything like that. Best believe that worm that killed you, that coward, he's getting a video from me and he's probably never going to see the light of day again. He's going to rot in jail as he deserves to, as most cowards do deserve to rot in jail. This is simply my video making observations of what I see and then I'm going from there. I'm allowed to do that in this country still, right? Okay, let's get started. She's a good looking woman, okay. Spicy military wife problems, Marine Corps Base, Hawaii. Hi everybody, I am Dana Altavi and here it is. Here's this video that I feel like a lot of people have been wanting. <laughs> so a lot of people want this video. Hi, I'm Dana Altavi. Yes, I do porn. Yes, I have an OnlyFans. And yes, I live on base. Um, I never directly told anybody here like, hey, hey, I do porn, hey, hey, hey. like, I don't really need to. I am pretty popular <laughs> on those platforms that like, it advertises it by itself. But a lot of people were like, oh my God, that girl, like, is that girl? <laughs> and she lives here on base and she drives a pink Jeep. And like, whenever people ask me, I deny it and I act like clueless and all that. But like right now I don't really care. And this is my confession video. Okay. So the beginning of this confession video lets me know that you know, she has a different lifestyle choice than a lot of other women in this world. Uh, she does the OnlyFans. She says she's doing porn. I don't watch that type of stuff. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if she's just showing her private parts or having other people come in and out of those private parts. But uh, she lives on base and she decided to make a video confessing whatever it is that she needs to confess. Let's continue. Living on base as an adult content creator is cool but also it has its downs too um one i think it's cool to be well it's my job before i was a marine wife i was doing adult content that's big that is very big what she just said before i was a marine wife before i was married i was already doing adult content okay so this isn't one of those stories where, uh, you know, you, you get your little, 
mistress and her and and move into your white picket fence and all that good stuff and then all of a sudden she wants to start doing only fans no the man she was with the man who murdered her was initially cool with her doing only fans i don't know once again i don't know what that only fans entails but he was cool with that that's that may be problem number one that may be problem number one that i will cover in the second video but let's keep it in mind and keep moving we got married and I'm still doing it because it's just, it's what I like to do. It's my job. I like to do adult content. <laughs> That's just, I don't know. It's my She's job. Just like giddy. People wake up and go work at McDonald's or work at the boba store or work at the commissary. I wake up and I like to do that type of stuff. So. Hey, you heard what she said. People wake up and they have different jobs. You may wake up. It may be your job to flip burgers. It may be your do job to sweep floors. Her job is to make sure her thing is thanging online and making money from it. But here's the thing about jobs that we're going to talk about a little bit more in this video. Not all jobs are created equal. I don't care. I don't care. You can look at this screen. You can be upset. Not all jobs are created equal. Some jobs are more dangerous than other jobs. Or let's say I was trying to recruit somebody to be a contractor on an oil rig. I would be doing him a disservice if I did not tell him how dangerous his job actually is. And that is the problem I have with you society right now. There are a lot of women going out here working on these electronic single manned oil rigs and they think that it's just happy-go-lucky, easy, smooth sailing, and they can just do and say whatever they want without any repercussions from the world. We do not live in candy land. We do not live in, in, in you know, just sunshine and rainbows all the time world. If you haven't noticed, it's 2022, and things can be kind of fucked up, okay? So let's stop pretending like certain jobs aren't more dangerous than they actually are. Let's continue. Sorry, like we all have our little cup of tea. And I, doing adult content cre creations, or whatever you want to call it, I doing, I doing, <laughs> me doing adult content, I pay taxes, okay? So it's nothing illegal, nothing whatever, but I get it. Most people on this base are white and they're like, oh my God, that's, oh my God, it's so gross. Like, oh my God, she does porn. Oh my God. Okay. So let's be honest here. Let's be honest. They're not going to stigmatize you just because you're not white. If you are, you know, taking provocative pictures and doing God knows what on a military installation of all places. I, I used to live on a military installation for like a few years in my life. I've lived on base. I've lived off base. And when you're on base, you do have to, you know, adhere to certain standards. That's why so many people can't wait to get off base and why so many people can't wait to live off base so they can kind of actually exhale and breathe. You, you can't expect to, you know, get smiles and hugs from everybody on a military installation of all places if your job is showing your most private parts on the Internet. We must be realistic. I told you we're going to we're going to bring the truth on this channel. We must be realistic. Let's continue. Don't blame people just because they're white she does porn like a lot of bitches like a lot of dependa aka like spouses like they talk so much shit about me like i don't know them i don't know anything about them i love how she uh is going in about how dependas are so are so judging and stuff like that that's not just you dependas are are most of them are most of them are decent people most of them are cool but they're also crazy i'd like to say that all dependas are crazy let's continue like they talk so much shit about me it's really hard for me to like not want to just pop them in the fucking face oh. and be like bitch what do you do besides stay at home and reproduce and stay at home like a stay at home cat you know what i mean like it's <laughs> stay at home cat hey if you're making bands from being a stay at home cat that doesn't sound like too bad of a gig a lot of us have to go out and actually make something of ourselves in the world and if there if i had a choice between you know uh, having to go out and work at Home Depot or something like that, being a stay at home cat or, you know, putting my private parts online, I probably wouldn't be working at Home Depot. So hard for me to like not say that because I'm definitely thinking it and I'm definitely seeing it and it's definitely fucking happening. But I have to be a Marine's wife, you know, and I have to, you know, like 
not say it. Mm. But um, yeah, so spouses give me hell. Like they talk so much about me and it's crazy because I'm the type like I can ignore you. Like you can talk all the crap you want about me. I can definitely ignore you and just go about my business like you don't pay my bills and like whatever. Um, but it does get to me sometimes because yes, that's my job, but I am also like 25 years old. Like I want to make friends, but I cannot be friends with these dependents because these dependents judge a lot. And here lies the paradox. There are individuals in the adult industry. There are females, young females, young women that enter the adult industry that want to be able to work this certain type of job but then still you know take off your cape take off your tights and and put your superhero outfit in the closet and be a normal person you can't do that you literally can't do that with some jobs like think about it like if somebody is you know special ops or or, or a lot of police officers sure they can uh, they can take off their uniform but it doesn't really change who they are and it doesn't change the way people perceive them they see you with that high and tight uh, fade. They see you with wearing your jeans, your O'Neill shirt and your tennis shoes. They're like, yeah, this dude probably is in the military. He's probably in the military. He's not wearing a, a uniform right now, but he's probably in the military. So I'm going to treat him like somebody in the military. And if especially if you're doing something that's as stigmatized as sex work and sex work will be stigmatized until the end of time, just because, you know, logic, if we're being honest here, logic and we could get into men versus female dynamics and all that type of stuff, but we're not going to. Based on just logic, you're going to be seen differently. So do not enter this type of job if you don't have the heart to be seen differently. Do not go off and marry somebody in the military and expect everybody in one of the, the most strict and disciplined places to live in the world to look at you like a normal person. They're not going to. They're not going to think about it like this. There are people in the military that go to work and they're going to get shit. They're going to get shit on just because they don't have a shave, just because they didn't shave that morning. They have like a little five o'clock shadow. How do you think they're going to think about you if you are putting your private parts, if you're putting your things thing in online? Let's be real. Let's be real. A lot of the dependas and people who live on the Marine base here in Hawaii, they're white and they're from small towns and like they're really conservative. So like this is really bad. Hey, you know what? If you're white and you're from a small town and you're conservative, apparently you are wrong if you do not like sex workers. Yeah, we're watching you. You know, um, and I'm like the queen of being like, all right, cool. Like your opinion doesn't pay my bills or whatever. But like, yeah, like I said, it gets to you like eventually because like you want to go somewhere and just have a conversation with someone and be like, oh, hey, cool, you like that, I like that, okay, let's hang out. And then someone will tell them, oh, but that bitch does porn, did you know that? And then it's like, great, that can't be my friend anymore, you know? Um, That's the nature so of the game. So what else, what else? Um, That's the nature of the game, I recently had an I recently had an incident where this active duty Marine private first class Oh, she's thought it was okay to approach me and ask me if I have a Pornhub account. Like, okay, let's. Hey, 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 that PFC, wherever you are, hey, you need to be cleaning your room because I know field day is this Thursday. I know field day is this Thursday, and I know your corporal does not want you out here trying to figure out which, which women have Pornhub accounts. You better make sure that deck is clean. You better make sure that head is clean. And and what are you doing out here hunting for Pornhub accounts from women, little PFC? Don't you have enough shit to deal with? You have to make sure the head is clean at work. You got, you're at the bottom of the totem pole, my dude. But then we also have to ask, do you blame him? Do you blame him? If you're over here saying, you know what? I do porn online. Hey, yada, yada, yada. I'm so open about it. It's just what I do. Can you really blame a little 18, 19 year old coming up and asking you if you do porn? Uh, is that that that's so here's the thing that I really have noticed. I don't even care. This is why I'm wearing the, the flag jacket right now, baby. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm going to be honest. 
So there is a difference between, you know, somebody doing something maliciously and then also somebody like asking a genuine question at 18 years old with a little bit more testosterone than he knows what to do with. Let's continue. That to me, it's okay. Like you can you can ask me those questions whatever. Nice. Like being in the adult content industry um yeah, there's creeps. There's there's creeps and I don't like to say creeps because like hey, if I'm your favorite porn star and I live on base and you know where I live, like of course you you want to Oh my god, that's nothing to take pride in though. That's nothing to take pride in. I I understand a uh, uh, sex worker aside, I don't care if you work at freaking McDonald's. Don't take up don't take pride in people knowing where you live and just waving and stuff like that that's this is dangerous you already are in a job field that is a lot more dangerous you're a lot more likely to be abused or harassed in some type of way don't take pride in people knowing where you live don't don't show it off don't gloat this isn't not all attention is good attention not all attention is good attention so come on now like you know be like hey what's up and all that but like it makes me slightly uncomfortable because it's like I'm a woman and you're a man and like if you want you could easily just like fucking like rape me or assault. I'm See, not she knows this deep down like that he was gonna do or whatever, but like I'm a woman, like you could definitely do that, you know, and like some Marines are kinda creepy and like you never know their like agenda kind of thing. You can't. Right? You don't know people so, like that. So um being in the adult industry, I've had like countless of cases where men have been like oh my god i watch you like i like you i like your content you're cool you're hot you're sexy they'll give me a hug okay cool like i'll give you a hug actually i don't really like to hug but like if you're going for it i'm not gonna make you feel some sort of way and reject it you know so i'll hug you back okay. <sighs> this is a little sad to me this is a little sad to me because she's she she a lot of people don't even realize it. She's crying out for help in this video. She's straight up telling folks, well, saying right here, being open and honest in this little confession of hers, that she does she really doesn't like it when people come up to her. She really doesn't like it when people come up asking for hugs and stuff like that. But in the moment, she does it anyways, just to, you know, make sure that they don't feel some type of negative way about her nearly all women have to experience this on some scale in the world but once again if you have a job like being a sex worker you have to be ready for that type of thing that's your job field that's the field that you're in and i'm not saying that it's okay i'm not saying it's right but i am saying that there are some crazy people out here there's some crazy people out here you don't somebody go up like 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 could put something on you they could put an like apple air tag or something like that on your car or in your purse or something like that just hugging you trying to figure out where you like like where you live or something like that and that's the problem that i have with society and that's the main point of this video we're over here glorifying certain lifestyles that are a lot more dangerous than we're giving credit like like oh my gosh i'm stuttering over my words and stuff like that i'm so upset like we're over here pretending like this is completely normal for a woman to be approached by so many people from all over the base and and she's giddy a little bit from the attention that she's getting but deep down she knows and she knew that something wasn't right not all attention is good attention let's keep going okay cool you know and when they hug me like they'll kiss, give me a kiss on the cheek they'll grab my ass or they'll think it's okay to like touch a little bit more and like that makes me uncomfortable but it's something that has happened so many times where like i'm used to like men just like a little bit over i'm i'm that breaks my freaking heart man that's so sad it's like she's like yeah i don't like that but i'm so used to it i'm so used to being used like a piece of flesh that you know i'm just cool with it why did society make it cool for women to have this type of mindset it's it's so sad to me it is so damn sad to me to be yeah, like, like you know, I, I'm sexually liberated and whatnot, but deep down, I'm very uncomfortable with the way that I'm living my life. 
But I'm so stigmatized if I come out and say that, that I won't say that. I'm just going to keep it to myself and pretend like everything's willy nilly until one day I'm not here anymore. And then the whole thing, this woman has been murdered. This woman's dead. Now we have to keep in mind that coward who's in jail right now. You got to think about what is he thinking when he saw a video like this? He sees a video about how people are just grabbing his woman's ass, how, how people are kissing on her face and stuff like that. You, have you ever seen those idiots that put their heads in alligator mouths that are open and pretend like the alligator won't shut his mouth right before he does or something like that? I feel like she's in a situation where she's in a snare and it's about to just just go off. She's in a trap and it's just about to go off and she doesn't even see it. Let's go on. Doing it because because they just get like a little bit too excited. So, like, if a guy was to come up to me and just, like, a little overdo it, um, I wouldn't be like, ah, oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Ah. I wouldn't do all that because, like, I just i am kind of used to it, unfortunately. Um, but every single time, like, it does make me, like, feel kind of weird, you know? I'm so... Um, ooh, ooh. I've had a situation where I was outside the commissary and this guy sniffed at me. This Marine sniffed at me. Like, I was putting stuff in my car. And, and <laughs> that made me so uncomfortable. I turned around and I was like, are you retarded? And he was like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, here's something else, ladies. I don't care if you do sex work or not, but if you are actually uncomfortable with people doing certain things... I need you to say something. I need you to make it very clear that you are uncomfortable. On a military base especially, that's a pretty damn safe place. Like if you, you know, you're on a military base and you, you're a woman and you start yelling at any type of male member or any type of man, there are going to be other men, I guarantee you, within earshot to be like, hey, what's going on here? What's going on here? So you, I know you're on YouTube. Well, she was on YouTube, you know, just, just confessing opening up kind of laughing it off and stuff like that but you're gone now you're gone and that's not a laughing matter that's not a laughing matter so whether you actually enjoyed you know the attention a little bit and and you you went off in that direction or if you really were uncomfortable which i think you were you need to make that very clear make that very clear this is a dangerous place this is 2022 this is 2022 man uh, uh, and made like stupid ass excuses and I was just like holy f like I don't know guys like I've dealt with a lot of stuff here on marine base being an adult content creator okay and then get this shit so I get pulled over by marine police they're called MPs military police but like obviously I live on marine base so it's like Marine military police, you know what I mean? So let's just call them MPs, right? The MPs here on base love and fucking adore me. Oh, not me. They do. Um, they pull me over for no reason. They pull Same. me over for reasons. They pull me over because they want to be cool. They pull me over because they want to pull over the porn star on base. Oh. They pull me over because they just want to talk to me. They pull me over to to want to fuck me. Like, I've had PMO... This is wild. This is absolutely wild. This is wild. Oh, yeah. So we're going to need you to get out of the vehicle. I'm going to need you to uh, show me your license and registration and your OnlyFans account. I need you to put your hands on the front of the hood of the vehicle. Thank you, man. Me, if it was me, I'm getting pulled over for going 26 miles an hour in a 25. I'm probably getting kicked in my nuts and my neck kneeled on. This woman didn't realize that she was in even more danger than I've ever been. Like you're out here getting pulled over for sport? Is that where our society has, has landed? That we come online and brag about these type of things and act, instead of actually getting help? Instead of actually living a safer life? Guys from PMO here on Marine Base Hawaii, ask me for my Snapchat ask me for my number i'm clearly a dependa there's nothing about me that says i'm active duty no i'm a dependent so basically as a porn star here on my base i 
I lose and I lose and I lose again. Like I get harassed left and right by a ton of service members who think it's okay to ask me like, do you have a Pornhub account? Do you have an OnlyFans? Like they ask me that like in the most. Okay, so here's here's the thing. From their perspective, if you're online and you're showcasing what you do, you're like a lower level celebrity. So of course their opener is gonna be like, oh, do you do this thing? If you had Jocko Willing, walk walk on to marine corps base hawaii i guarantee you he's going to be harassed and he's going to be offered things that i can't repeat here on youtube just just knowing that just knowing how military housing and military people are people are he people are, are going to crowd jocko willing they're going to be all over him they're going to ask him what he's doing what he's up to they're probably going to ask like Oh, wait, are you on that podcast? Aren't you that pocket? They're going to do that. People do that to celebrities, especially lower level celebrities that they think they can interact with. So from their perspective, they're not necessarily trying to harass you unless they are being disrespectful. Like, hey, what's your fucking OnlyFans or something like that? You know what I'm saying? But if they're casually asking you, hey, uh, what's your OnlyFans? Hey, what's your Pornhub account? And you are an actual porn star and you're doing that type of thing and showcasing it then, you know, once again, more dangerous jobs are going to get dangerous interactions. Weirdest places ever and like, just weird. And then, um, PMO, like, fucking wants to fuck me. Like That's crazy. I think I'd rather be, you know, I make jokes. I make jokes about uh, police and stuff like that. I really don't have a pol problem with police, but... I think I would rather, man, I think I would really rather the police, you know, not like me because of my skin color than the police want to pull me over because they want to fuck me. That's terrifying. I would rather somebody call me the N-word with a hard R any day of the week than somebody pull me over trying to get my nookies, trying to get my goodies. I Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. You should have been reporting this stuff. They get like this kind of hype of pulling me over because they pulled over the porn star, you know. Um, I've been invited to Pogue Palace before. If you guys know what that is, it's where like all the PMOs live. Like I've had a guy be like, hey, um, do you want to like come over and ball like a PMO guy? OK, this is also kind of normal because all those PMO, basically everybody in the military, Number one, don't get in relationships in the military. It's uh, definitely not recommended. I don't recommend you do that. And also, uh, all they do is suck and fuck each other. It's just a big swingers club. It's a big swingers slash cheaters club in the military. I, I guarantee you, not just her, sex worker or not women are getting invited to all types of crazy dirty things i remember i was at a ball one time and they see me in my uh six foot four peanut butter complexion and in all my glory some people they were so drunk they were so tipsy they were like hey you have to hang out with me and my wife please please toki you gotta come back to the room with us and i didn't even know it was that crazy until it had hit me in the face i'm like oh these people are crazy it's just one big fuck fest. They're supposed to be out here defending the, the country and the world, but everybody just wants to, to suck and fuck the next individual. So, I don't know. I, I digress. I just, I don't know. You guys are kind of gross. Currently, I'm going back and forth with a lieutenant colonel. Oh, big baller. By back and forth. <laughs> Not like that, okay? Okay. <laughs> um... Not like that. Um, we're going back and forth because he has a... He just hates me. I know. I know. I know. He's from a small town. Like, what I'm doing it's is... Not, it's not because he's from a small town. Stop this. Stop this. Let us be realistic yet again. This lieutenant colonel probably hates you because he's probably a battalion commander or something like that. And he sees that you are destroying the cohesion of his unit or you're destroying a lot of like discipline and, and stuff like that. He's that he's trying to instill in his troops. If his guys 
are more concerned with finding out what your Pornhub account is or what your only OnlyFans account is more so than learning how to defend themselves and other people within this country. He's not going to be that big of a fan. If you have if you're not getting haircuts when you're supposed to get haircuts and if you haven't shaved your face when you're supposed to as a Lance Corporal or, or all the way up to a Sergeant Major, he's not going to be a big fan of you. So if you're out here putting your private parts online yet again, I'm not hating on the on your lifestyle. I'm not doing that. But I'm asking you to be a, a little bit realistic in the way that people are going to perceive you throughout your life before you decide to do something like this. The devil, in his opinion, like he just hates me and he wants me off base. And OK, cool, you're getting me off base. But like, understand that, like, dude, <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. It's not a game. It's so ridiculous. It's not um, a joke. Yeah, so. A lieutenant colonel is kicking me off base and it's literally because I feel like it's because I am a porn star whatever you guys want to call Probably. me but he'll say otherwise so if you purchase my OnlyFans um you can ask me questions on my OnlyFans you can ask me questions on my Instagram you can say what so if you're a sex worker and you're doing stuff like that, you need to protect yourself. You need to move different. You have to move different, man. Your job is not safe. You're not a freaking librarian at Barnes and Noble. And no matter how much protesting, how much that disliking on a video like this that you do, that won't change reality. Say just DM me and like write to me like you could say anything because that's just like online, right? But what I'm talking about is like these motherfuckers will like confidential, like confidently, like, sorry, what I meant is confidently, like come up to me on base and like say something or harass me. And it's like, dude, like where it needs to be more than just dude. If you're actually so somebody confidently coming up to you and speaking to you, they're probably coming up to you in that manner to try to impress you or to try to seem more confident than they actually are. But if you're out here being harassed, if you're being har harassed and disrespected and abused as a woman, please speak to someone. Please come out and speak. Please come out and talk. You have to say something because you never know just how close you are to the end. You, you never know when you're living in the good old days. and You never know when your last day is not morals but like where's like your professionalism you know like what happens like he's a marine he's first to fight he's the first one to ask for my fucking only fam <laughs> okay. so like i hate how much like enjoyment from the attention that she's getting because she doesn't see how dangerous it is in the long run i don't know golly so so joyous about like the little attention she's getting when it's not necessarily good attention it, a woman in 2022 you need to move different you better be safe you got to be safe because you know why society has handcuffed all of the good strong men y'all are making you're creating laws y'all are making it harder for good men to actually move in the community and protect the people that they love meanwhile bad strong men they don't listen to the rules of society they don't listen to loot rules. They don't listen to laws. They don't care about your safety or anything like that. Those are the guys that are going to do what the fuck they want to do regardless. And and sadly, that's the world that we live in right now. Hey, here's another story time. There's this guy who lives one block away from my house, right? One block. And whenever he drives by my house... He'll make his car like super loud and yeah, it's a sport car. He'll make it super loud because he wants to get my attention. Okay, cool. So he's like Military doing base. that every single time. And whenever he drives by, he'll be driving. And then once he passes my house, he's like, you know, like he wants my fucking attention. So I literally just was like, hi, you know, and he said it, he said hi back. And then literally the next night he knocked on my door i opened my door and he kissed me he a full-on tongue kissed me okay he full-on so this dude dro drives by your house 
revving his car, trying to get attention from you. You give him this attention, hi, hi. The next night he comes to your place. You open the door. I'm assuming you know that it's this dude. He full on kisses. She says full on kisses, full on tongue kisses. I tell you what, once again, we have to remember how this woman ended. Her husband killed her. This dude is probably seeing this stuff. You are you are living so dangerously. You are you are you are living dangerously on all sides. Like people know where you live. You don't care. You're getting pulled over by the freaking cops and they're trying to fuck. You're getting approached in the commissary. People are coming up to your front door and opening the door, kissing you, making making out with you. And then you make a video being married and putting it online, saying all this instead of getting help. And oh. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I should have reported this. I didn't report this. And then Why not? he tried to bribe me to have sex with him for money. And um, then I found out that his wife is like about to give birth. And wow, wow. like you are an E3, maybe an E4. Or maybe you're a Lance Corporal. Hey, you know what? She's ta she talks shit on Dependas, but she's a Dependent too. Because out of this entire scenario here, you have a man uh, harassing you, coming to your door, kissing you, uninvited and stuff like that. And your biggest freaking issue, like he's married, wait, he's married, just had a kid, a newborn baby and stuff like that. But your biggest problem with him is his rank. You might be a dependa also. This is crazy. This is absolutely loony. This is insane. And anybody trying to defend this scenario as a whole, I don't care. You're an idiot. Leave your dislike and uh, see ya. You can go. Bye. This is this is not something to be online bragging about. This is not something to be online bragging about. And this just breaks my heart because so many of our women are being tricked into leave, li living and leading a life that sure it may be sexually gratifying sure it may be financially gratifying in the very short term but we're not being taught to have accountability for our actions anymore we're not being taught to have accountability for our actions and it's breaking my damn heart man because it's getting people hurt and you have extra money to fuck a hoe i'm gonna just say hoe because like I'm really for the earth, not for the streets or however that goes. She wants spiritual <laughs> like, types. You have extra money for me, but like that could be diaper money. That could be like, I don't know, like stroller money. Like, but no, you, you want to offer money for me to sleep with you. Like uh, as a Marine, you offer money for me to sleep with you. <laughs> You'd be surprised. That's weird. Y'all are fucking weird. I mean, y'all are bald. You'd be surprised. I've been on, uh, trips to guam philippines thailand all kind of stuff like that I, i'm telling you do not be in a relationship in the military it is just one big one big swinger cheating fest to be honest it's it's crazy it is actually crazy in there that's that's the unspoken law of the land out there but hey he's, he's trash for doing that and it kind of sucks because, like, he lives, like, one block away. So, like, whenever I walk my dogs, like, I do see him. And I do see his wife and their child that's a newborn. Like, wow. Ah, like, you're disgusting. And um, this is the fun part. I do have evidence. And I am going to show her. But I don't want to show her when I'm living on base because I don't really want anything to do with it so this woman rest in peace to dana's soul i'm serious rest in peace to dana's soul but so far in this video she needs some mental help she does not understand situational awareness whatsoever she just like you're online talking about how you're going to tear apart the family of this dirt bag he already his morals are low enough if a man is willing to to number one cheat on his wife but then cheat on his wife 
as his newborn child is coming into this world when he doesn't when he barely has the finances to take care of them but he's willing to risk it all to sleep with you that's not the type of person that you want to let know that you have dirt on them and you you plan on exposing them when you uh leave base or whatever that's that's this is crazy man this is this video is actually crazy it's actually crazy it's actually crazy i think from all angles she's in a position of an extreme disadvantage extreme situational disadvantage this dude already came to your front door kissed you unannounced and you're putting out videos talking about how you're going to you know break up the home which you know I, I don't i don't blame you but 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 i don't blame you for for bringing the truth out but damn don't tell the whole world don't tell the whole world i guarantee you he watched that video before i did damn damn i tell you what if you're gonna be a sex worker don't be stupid it's one or the other you can't be a stupid sex worker rest in peace to her soul once again but this channel is about telling the truth and ladies i don't give a damn about what you do i don't care if you're a librarian i don't care if you're a computer technician i don't care if you're a professor i don't care if you sell pictures of your vagina online that's up for for you and your god to deal with but i tell you what if you're going to be a sex worker you can't be stupid once I move out of base, um, I want to, ew. Once I move off base, like, I'm going to tell her. And with all the evidence, and hopefully she takes it really good. Excuse me. She takes it really good because I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Hopefully she takes it good. Because you know how some bitches are. Like, they be like, oh, fuck you, B. I'll just be, like, outside the PX and, like, staff sergeants will, like, come up to me gunnery sergeants will come up to me and shoot their shot with me and like that's fine like you can shoot your shot and i'll just be like okay thank you thank you and if you're like a, a lance corporal or like a private first class or private or whatever i'll just be like thank you sweetheart i appreciate it bye you know like she's a dependent that's for sure. my response but like if you're gonna cross the line like overdo it like it's just like mm. But the, here's the thing about it. Also, women, if you're married, if, if you're married, you're in a relationship, don't be too eager to receive attention from people that you don't really know like that. Don't be too eager to receive attention from people that may not have your best intentions in mind. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, yeah, like, if you're going to be, like, okay about it, like, come up to me and, like, say stuff like that's fine but like if you overdo it like that's when it's like a little harassy ish a little bit so i am getting kicked off base i am why are you getting, getting kicked, kicked off, off base? base really really soon and i'm definitely gonna miss all the hot marines in their hot ass fucking camis this is for everybody like the privates Ah, oh, the privates are so hot with like their big ass muscles. Like, yeah. See, it's so confusing. That poor PFC that came up and asked her if she has a Pornhub account. He's like, oh, she's talking about me right now. He doesn't have any money to do anything besides go to gym on base and do bicep curls in the squat rack and look at himself in the mirror and and just under his breath say, ooh, rah, devils and all that good stuff. He does. He doesn't have the money to do anything else. So that poor kid, he's watching this video. He's confused. He's like, damn, she thinks I'm a plebe. She thinks I'm a loser. But damn, she also likes my muscles. She also appreciates me. Maybe I can say something in person to her because she's talking about me. I'm just telling you how generically, how, how like generically some men are going to be thinking about this situation. I just don't want you as a sex worker, if you're putting yourself in situations where you're receiving a lot of attention from people. I don't want you to be completely surprised if you do become successful at sex work and people find out who you are. Don't be surprised if people want to have a conversation with you. Don't be surprised if people want to chat and, and talk to you and, and get to know you. Yes, it's, it's a dangerous me. job. Um, but then like the gunnies and master sergeants like, 
But anyways, um, her husband's a I'm getting kicked off way. base because I'm just too problematic for this base. I'd so agree. The lieutenant colonel that I'm talking to, he's kicking me off base because I'm too problematic. But like, nigga, if, like, if you fucking knew, like, it's your nigga. She's not the homies. What did she call me? She's not the homies. Hey, I tell you what, man. Rest in peace to your soul, Dana. Rest in peace to your soul. But you're not the homies. I don't know if you can get away with saying that. I don't know. Me personally, I really don't care. But you you got to think about how people will perceive you. You're not walking around in this earth by yourself. You're not. Honestly, you're not. Even right here, right now. I know putting out a video like this, there's a chance that my channel gets slashed or, or somebody you know just is upset and people hate me and I, I create a few more enemies and I realize that I acknowledge that but I am willing to make that sacrifice in order to speak the truth out into the world but you can't be doing all this stuff if you're not willing to take accountability for your actions also I'll look what you guys right in the face and say I ain't scared of you I ain't scared of y'all I'm not, I'm not afraid of telling the truth What's up? But you can't be doing that if you're, you know, living a certain lifestyle. Is who really be aiming at me hard and fucking core. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna move somewhere near Kanye, so. Okay, so I just thought about something and I wanna tell you guys, okay. So I have a neighbor, I have a neighbor and she lives literally right there, right there. And her husband, <laughs> got my only fans and she had a problem with it so she called pmo and pmo was like what do you want us to do like we can't do shit about her having only fans <laughs> like shit like that How like these, these people all really knowing patrolling <laughs> um, yo like that's yet another enemy she's created the, the neighbor wife the neighbor wife and i tell you what i've already told you about dependents they are all crazy this, most of them are good some of them are not so good but they are all crazy in their own little way you can't be pissing them off too this is this video should have been titled how to make a shitload of enemies in 18 minutes and 28 seconds if we're being honest this is this is not about oh she created this situation and you're blaming her for what happened to her absolutely not we're going to get to the sea urchin we're going to get to Corporal Sea Urchin, Corporal Coward, who's in jail right now. Best believe we're going to cook his ass. We're going to fucking cook him because he's the, the reason I'm making this video in the first freaking place. But what I will say is you got to be careful, man, especially as a woman out here in 2022. And anybody telling you otherwise, anybody telling you, oh, you don't have to be careful. Oh, you can just run around and do whatever you want. Whoever is telling you that is not your friend. Anytime you have these these a lot of these guys that are trying to promote you to do a lot more sex work and, and crazy stuff like that. They aren't saying it from a position of, oh, I, I really love you so much. I would love to wife you, blah, blah, blah. They're doing that because they want to fuck. They're doing that because they want to fuck or they want to see you fuck. OK, that's exactly why they're saying that. And you know how I know that. Is because most guys, if a woman was to bring up the idea of starting an OnlyFans or some other sex work, they would be repulsed at the idea. That, that makes the average man's stomach flip upside down. So any man trying to promote that, trying to promote you into that type of lifestyle, while he may be, you know, down to help you financially or he may look after you lustfully or something like that. It's not that advice is not coming from a place of love. And women, you need to start listening to people that have your best interest in mind that are coming from a place of love. But yeah, so like what I want to say is I get harassed a lot on these and it's just what comes with my work. If you want to say something to me and like you want to do it through my social medias or, you know, platforms where I have my content, you can say anything you want to say to me. I'll reply, even if you're a Marine, and be like, hey, I'm a Marine, I have a crush on you, blah, blah. Okay, like, still, like, you're Gucci. Like, I will reply back. To I will still reply to you, like, you know, formally, because, like, you did nothing wrong. But, like, to approach me on base, like, 
that's just weird, dude. Like, it's not weird. I hate calling guys weird because, like, I get a bunch of weird weirdos, you know? But, like, dude, you're not just a regular degular. Like, you're a Marine. You're a Marine, dude. Like, nigga, what are you fucking doing? <clears throat> what are you fucking doing approaching me in fucking public? Like, you fucking know me. Just kidding. <laughs> This is this is crazy. This is actually crazy. I wouldn't even want my worst enemy to move this stupid. I wouldn't even want them to move this way. This is this is flagrantly irresponsible. It really is. Like this this person lives right next door to you and they see your content obviously. So let's go and wrap like this that. shit up. Y'all are weird, but um yeah. One more thing. Um, yes, I do have like a bunch of adult content or whatever, right? But like a lot of that content, I shot it when I was like 15 pounds lighter. So I'm a lot thinner in those videos than what you see in person. Um, but do understand that I still get paid for that, those videos I made in like 30 minutes I made them and like I'm still getting money for them like years later so You're yes not I anymore. don't look the same but like I don't need to look like that my videos are still getting money so oh my god yo like, is this your final message here I'm gonna miss you guys am I the first porn star on base here in Hawaii am I the first porn star on base I've been voted off the All right. We uh we finished that video up and here's here's my main takeaway that I don't want you to misrepresent or misunderstand. The way she died was absolutely tragic and it was not her fault. I will say that again. The way she died was absolutely tra tragic and it was not her fault. But I tell you what, I need you, if you are a sex worker or you live a lifestyle, whether you're a contract killer or you're in the military, you have only fans or you're a model or anything like that, man or woman, I need you to live a little bit smarter. I need you to be a little bit better. I need you to use a little bit more situational awareness to ensure that you're not putting yourself in positions where you're compromising your own safety. And, and I'm just so sorry that she went the way she did. But I need all of you in this world to just make sure that you keep your head on a swivel, especially sex workers. If you're going to do that type of thing, don't let society trick you and, and make you think that it's the safest, safest, easiest money in the world. That's not fair to you. That's not fair to you. Anybody telling you that does not have your best interest in mind. You need to move a little bit smarter. You need to move a little bit smarter and try not to make so many enemies because it may catch up to you. It may hurt you, especially if you have like a crazy corporal husband and stuff like that. Like a video like this could easily make somebody want to like take themselves out, let alone take you out. You see what I'm saying? So, yo, this has been Tokyo of the Champagne Throttle podcast. I wear this freaking cry JPC on videos like this for a good reason. Because I know you guys are going to come with it. You're going to have your opinions. And uh, that's okay. But I would much rather m the truth come out and help you guys keep stay grounded in reality than anything else. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We have to cover the video of her clown husband that murdered her. The coward. And the main problem with this entire society. But we're going to break it down in detail how the problem of weak men infected this scenario and caused a young woman and her unborn unborn child to lose their lives all right until next time take it easy uh, i'm gonna fix the setup all this stuff will be better later on i just got here i'm doing my thing in my village by the sea until next time you take it easy peace